what's up guys just getting done watching a gray maynard versus clay guida fight are you serious clay guida just ran around the cage through a couple punches and no no they say uh gray maynard won the fight hell yeah he did he did all he could to win that fight throwing knees elbows when he gets him in the clinch and clay like he even said at the end of the fight i come to fight I proved that I came to fight. He should have got... Every judge should have picked him to win. Clay Guido was just running around the cage. Throw a jab here. Run around the cage. Throw a jab here. It reminds me of the fight with... Um, Nick Diaz versus Carlos Condit. Carlos Condit. It was the same kind of fight. Like, Carlos would run and throw a punch. Run and throw a punch. This dude needed... To step up. I seen Dana White on Twitter. I seen a lot of people on Twitter bashing this dude saying, What the fuck, Clay Guida? You're you're a badass, but why just run around the cage? Run around the cage. You know what I'm saying? Honestly, I know Gray um Clay Guida's a lot of the time likes to run around and usually he's more aggressive, shoots in for the takedown. I don't know if he was nervous that um Gray Manor had very great uh wrestling maybe uh, extremely more power than him, but he didn't take it to the ground like he normally does. Usually he takes it to the ground and grounds and pounds, and he tried once. Gray Maynard got him in like a guillotine and almost choked him out, and the thing is, you gotta say another thing. Did he fights out of the Greg Jackson's camp, and you've seen a lot of these guys of late, like I said, another guy, um, Carlos Condon, did the exact same thing in Snake or against Nick Diaz, and they ran around the cage, and he did the same thing. I'm disappointed in the performance that Clay Guida put on, and a lot of people were saying, like, if Clay Guida won, would have won this fight, that would have been a, a complete ripoff because Clay, uh, Clay did not win this fight. He shouldn't even. He should have lost all rounds, all rounds. He didn't really do that much damage. He was doing more running around. He even got bitched at by the ref. The ref even walked up to him and said, Dude, you need to stop fucking running and fight. You're here to fight, not here to run around. And Clay Guida wasn't pressing the action that often. Um, you had Gray Maynard, which I don't like whatsoever. I don't really like his fighting style, but um, he was actually pressuring the action, trying to put a fight on, trying to knock this dude out. He would get him in the uh, Muay Thai clinch, rain a bunch of knees, uh, at the end, he was raining L um, some kicks to, or some knees to the uh, leg. But he was doing his thing when he get him in the clinch. I think it was in the fourth round or the... Yeah, I think it was in the fourth round. He started raining a bunch of knees. So, to me, it, was a, a, a clay, it wasn't a clay Guida fight. It was a Gray Manor uh, win. It wasn't the most exciting fight I've ever seen. It was one of the most boringest fights I've ever seen, if you uh, ask me. But... Gray Manor did his thing. Gray Manor, you got my respect. You're a tough son of a bitch. You actually go out to fight every time. And <clears throat> you earned my respect tonight. So if you guys want to see the fight, I'll, I'll put a link in the description box if you haven't seen it. But you guys probably seen it because it's a free fight on TV. So you bozos, uh, rate even if you hate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you clowns next time. Uh, fight for uh, that was dope uh, back and forth that's a real fight right there the Spencer Fisher uh, fight against um, Sam Stout those two dudes were putting on a fight a wrestling clinic they were both in there both bloodied up they were going back and forth back and forth now that is a real fight I, I respect people who actually go in the cage or in the ring whatever and they put their heart on the line and they go out there and they swing for the fences and they're not scared if they get knocked out that's a that's a true fighter and i respect people like that i would love to hear what you guys got to say you think people who actually put their ass on the line actually swing for the fences actually go out there do what they have to do go for the takedown stand up uh go for leg kicks that's the type of dudes who get on my respect not clay guida who runs around the cage for five rounds no 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 that's not a true fighter that that's a dude who looks like he's uh, has a game plan, but he's scared he's gonna win by a couple jabs going No, dude running around the cage isn't fighting. That's like you're scared